Have you thought about what the real returns are for investing in solar? Well, in this video, I'm going to explore a few things that might give you more details about my investment and whether I think it's worth investing in. Hi, I'm Eric and today we're going to look at my solar installation and how I calculate my savings. Just a recap on my current setup. I have a 6.38 kilowatt system which is made up of 22 290 watt Trina Honey M Plus black panels. I also installed a 5 kilowatt Fronius inverter single phase and I also um, got the Fronius smart meter. So let's dive straight into the Fronius solar web page where I'll be talking through how I track my savings. On the left you'll see how Fronius displays my current setup. It's near the end of winter and it's pretty late in the day already. So you'll notice that I'm only getting 400 odd watts of power from the sun while my usage is slightly above that. And therefore I'm drawing a bit of electricity from the grid. Over in the middle, you'll see that the red spikes correspond to spikes where I've used electricity and green spikes correspond to times where the sun has been particularly favorable on my setup. This is particularly useful because once you own a solar setup, uh, you start to get a feel of when the sun is most powerful and if you run concurrent appliances, um, how much energy can you make use of and also when you might want to take advantage of the sun. If we take a closer look at today's energy production and consumption by clicking this chart, you'll see that we used quite a lot of energy today, largely because we turned on the heating at certain times throughout the night because we've got a newborn and also throughout the day when we've done um, clothes and dishwashing. On this particular day, uh, it was quite sunny without much cloud cover. So you can see that the solar production in the green had a really nice bell curve that peaked around midday. If you click on month, you'll also get to see daily production stats for the month. How much total energy was produced, how much went to the grid, and how much was directly consumed. To calculate my savings, I use the report function. I create a custom report that tracks my consumption and my production. Once I've done that, I can export it to an Excel spreadsheet. This might not be for everyone, but if you're looking to see whether you're making a return on your investment, then I highly recommend you do this. So I'm two months in, and given June to August is winter for those here in Melbourne, so far I've saved $143, which isn't too bad, but I expect this number to go up as the days get longer and we get more sun. So that's it for now. Check the description for more details and if you enjoyed this video, like and leave a comment and I'll be sure to make some more videos in the future.